hang around to the end of the video to uh, for your chance to win a copy of one of my favorite books, Providence by Caroline Kepnes. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. This is my second uh, small indie small press uh, book and I have to tell you up front before we get into this review, this book was sent to me for free, both the ebook copy and the paper copy. But the ebook copy was sent to me, um, uh, TC, or I'm, I'm not sure, I'm going to, th this writer has two different names. I'm going to talk about them with this name, even though it's said in the back of the book who they really are. I'm going to say TC. TC uh, sent me the book and I, because I offered to proofread it for them. Um, and then uh, the, and I, I got to reading and I loved it so much that I know I was missing something. Okay, I know that there was problems that I did not catch. So I messaged them back and I said, "Hey, look, I can't really, I, I can't really tell you that you know I've I've caught everything or that I will catch everything because I'm really, really loving it." So that is the history behind this, and I do know I do know the author. The author is now a uh, part of my editing crew and a good friend of mine. Uh, so I just want to get all that out up front. But uh, like with the review that you guys saw yesterday, there's no bias here. I really enjoyed this book. So today we are talking about Salt Blood by T.C. Parker. Yeah, T.C. Parker. I'm not, not familiar with this name. I call this author by something else. Um, th this book is about a, a prison community uh, out in uh, on, a, on an island that has a dome structure over it. And the people who are there um, have either done bad things or have been... Uh, convicted of po the possibility that they might do bad things uh, by the by a computer algorithm. Um, so basically it's like if you're on Twitter going, you know, screw the government, the, the government's going to stick you in there, that kind of thing. At least that's what I got from it. If I was wrong, I, I apologize. Um, if they were all, they might have all been innocent, I, I can't remember that aspect of it. Because I read it, I was reading it slowly over a certain period of time. The main characters here, I feel, um, are Robin and Julia, and to a certain extent, Sat, which is another female character in the book. Um, I think Robin and Julia were done absolutely pitch perfectly. Their relationship is amazing, it's believable, and it's it's the characters. Uh, three things I look for in a horror novel, pacing, dread, and characters. Uh, the pacing was on point, characters were absolutely fantastic. Uh, with the, there, and then there's an inclusion, there's some, there, there's an inclusion of a thing here um, that is a supernatural aspect. I have to throw that out there because there's a lot of you that follow me that hate it when authors go supernatural, when the beginning of the book is not supernatural, or that there's a very real uh, set, real fe feeling to the book. In fact, I read one review that said that it the supernatural aspect completely took away from all the social commentary at the beginning of the book. I 100% I disagree because you still have that... It's like when people go, oh my god, the movie ruined the book. No, the, the book it still exists. The beginning of this book still exists. It didn't ruin that it just went into a different direction to close out um the different direction to close out i absolutely loved i was on google googling all this stuff uh checking out images it is now one of my favorite i'm gonna go ahead and say it, monsters uh that i have that i've ever come across just the go just the google images that i found were absolutely fascinating and the backstory and everything in here i'm not gonna tell you what it is because i don't think it it says anything about this on the back um, yeah. Yeah, well, there's an evil as old as the land itself. So you have some kind of, uh, in the description, you do have some kind of warning that you're possibly looking at supernatural. I mean, I don't know what else could be an evil, you know, old as, the, you know, the land itself. Um, but the, uh, the, the ending, uh, I love a big ending. I love a climactic ending, and this one has that. It's pulse pounding. It's uh, suspenseful. I actually, I had no no idea whether or not these characters were going to make it until the end, um, all the way up until the very last pages. Uh, in fact, I thought one thing and then something completely different happened. Uh, but it's it's with books like this that I have a very hard time, exp a very hard time reviewing them. I stammer more. I stumble over myself more. I repeat myself more. I usually say it's fantastic as, you know, a dozen times because I am so much better at critiquing the uh, the negatives than I am the the pot or just just explaining the positives. 
Uh, but this one, I really, truly love this book. Uh, it's, it just came out of left field for me. I thought, okay, let me let me proofread this. This person's asking for, you know, not asking, but um, needed a proofreader, and I offered because they do a lot of work for me. Um, so I was offering to return the favor, uh, and I'm so glad that I did because I am now a, a massive fan of T. C. Parker. Um, they are also uh, they they also sent me uh, three other books. Okay. Uh, so I got a total of four, but I reviewed, the, I gave this book five stars before any of that was sent to me. I want to make that clear. Uh, I love it, and if I don't like the other ones, I'm sure as hell going to tell you. But have you read, this is also popular right now. Um, I, it just, I, I don't know if the author sent a bunch of copies out to everyone all at the same time or what happened. That's probably what happened. But I know Brad Proctor's talked about this. Well Read Beard has talked about this. Ross Jeffrey has talked about this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm getting all, all the people who've talked about it. If you've talked about it, tell me about it. And I'll go over to your channel and check out the videos. Don't post links because you go to spam and then the spam, it, it, I don't check my spam anymore because there's, you don't want to know what's, <laughs> you don't want to know what's in there. I'm going to stop this review here so that I can give you a chance to win uh, the uh, hardcover uh, copy of Caroline Kepnes's, uh Providence. So if you want to win a copy of that book that is over my shoulder, email me at edwardlorn at gmail.com. It is liter it's spelled the, the way the channel is spelled. Edward, L-O-R-N, at gmail.com and tell me the time signature in this video when I talk about the book. The first time I mentioned the book. Not the first time. The second time. When I actually give you the... Right now. When I started talking right now about it. Right now. Anyways, back to the review. Um, the I, I highly suggest uh, that you go out and, and you at least give it a chance. Maybe give it a look inside. Uh, see if the writing style for, is for you. Uh, it's not one of those books... I, I don't think... I don't think the style is going to turn anybody off. That's not what I'm saying, but uh, I think the opening chapter of this one is really good to give you an idea of what you are getting into, um, and I, I appreciate that. But it, it does. There is a drastic supernatural element at the you know halfway through the book that comes into play. So if you don't like that stuff, if you think Stephen King cheats when he throws in the supernatural aspects, then definitely you know it's probably stay away from this one. Um, and TC, if you're watching this. I'm not trying to chase people away from your, your books, but I do this with everybody. Um, but have you read Salt Blood by T.C. Parker? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. Uh, if you loved it or hated it or just felt meh about it, tell me why you felt that way so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, it's been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!